Good evening. Thank you for joining us. An Ankeny teenager is behind bars tonight, accused of downloading child pornography from the dark web. KCCI's Max Deek Knight is following this case. Stacy, police say they found disturbing videos of young children on those devices. 18 year old Ankeny resident Saul Munoz Banderas was arrested Friday morning following a months long investigation into child porn allegations. According to court documents, back on May 2nd, detectives drove to nearby Centennial High School with a search warrant. There, they seized a laptop and a cell phone from Banderas' backpack. That same day, detectives seized two more laptops and another cell phone from the 18 year old's home. Lieutenant Brian Kroska says they found enough on those devices to file charges. Investigating things like this is hard on detectives because they have to view the images to confirm what they see. A lot of the detectives have kids as a, as a parent myself. Um, you just kind of try to do the best that you can to educate your children on how to keep them safe on the internet. This all began back in April when agents with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children tipped off Ankeny police. Detectives then connected the child porn to an account they say belongs to Banderas. Kroska says, unfortunately, this is not uncommon. There's a lot of people who try and take advantage of children who are just not maybe as suspicious as an adult would be. Roska says children are often blackmailed into sending inappropriate photos and videos. He says that's why it's important parents monitor their online activity, but he says it's also important they know that their parents are safe to talk to. You have to teach your kids as, as hard as it can be to talk about some things like that, that even though they made a mistake, that it's all right to come and talk to mom and dad. We did reach out to the Ankeny School District, but we have not heard back tonight. The teen is in jail without bond tonight, and police say more charges may well be coming. We'll continue to follow this case. Stacy.